All right, so the final step in this entire guide is basically pushing this out to your CRM or your email automation tool. It is pretty similar for both of those. So I'm gonna cover this in one video, but again, to set the stage, we've got a list of companies. We've got a list of contacts. We also have these custom merge fields right here. Uh, and finally, what we wanna do is get it sent to our CRM, which in this case, I'm gonna say is HubSpot. And then uh, I'm also gonna show the example of pushing it to our email automation tool, email sequencing tool, which I'll say is um, outreach. And just a quick note here. So if your CRM or email sequencing tool is currently not supported, you can use uh, Zapier to do so. And there's another link in this section called linking to unsupported email automation tools. Uh, or if you just look unsupported, it will be that video. In the case that it is supported and this list continues to grow every day, the setup is going to be super, super easy. So let's use HubSpot. And let's say we now want to create a new contact in HubSpot. We've got uh, basically, let's see, let me refresh these fields really quick. We've got all of um, these HubSpot fields in here. And it is going to be honestly pretty simple. So all we have to do is basically just map. Um, we've got the final contact, uh, sorry, final, yeah, final contact info that we'll map in here. We've got first name and last name, which you'll see is also down in this list first name, last name, uh, and we're actually just going to map all of those. And if we have any custom merge fields, like we have one right here, what I would do is first I'd go into HubSpot and I would create a merge field. Let's say in this case, um, the campaign we're running is called Hotjar Clay One. In HubSpot, I would click create a custom merge field called um, just that. And then when we go in here, we can just click refresh fields and we can map this merge field to what will show up in here, which will be one of these custom custom fields. And after that, you just click play on the column and it will automatically update every time you add a new row. Same thing if we want to send it to an email sequencing tool. Let's say uh, we wanted to use Smartly. There's a new one. Uh, so we can input the campaign ID, input the contacts information, same thing if we have any custom merge fields, first create that in your email sequencing tool and then map that um, once it's been created. And again, upload all the information, click play on the row and it will be all set to go. So if your uh, email sequencing or CRM tool is currently supported, as you can see, it is super quick and easy to get them set up and going. If it is not, we've got the solution uh, using Zapier or you can go directly um, but just watch those other videos if you need additional help. Thank you so much. Glad you made it all the way to the end. Uh, we will have a bonus section with some other uh, cool tables, examples, basically just giving you a little bit more inspiration of how you can push clay to its fullest potential. Uh, I'd say the biggest limiting factor in clay is just not quite understanding how to use everything. Uh, and so, yeah, the purpose of these guides and the rest of that learned content is to help you figure out all of the additional use cases uh, to really supercharge your sales. Thank you.